So the concept of Haludis Halal Foodies came from a frustration that there wasn't a good enough quality or availability of halal food available to me as a customer and to many of my friends. It started off, the realisation started off uh, many years ago as a youngster growing up in Glasgow, Scotland, where availability of halal wasn't particularly easy. And when it was available, the quality always seemed a bit dubious. And as the years went by and as myself and our community of Muslims in the UK came through and created a whole new middle class of Muslims, actually this was a common issue that people had. What worked for first generations, our parents, wasn't actually so good for second, third generations, particularly as it come through with degrees, with education, and they formed a brand new middle class. And therefore they had all the pressures of any middle class. They wanted convenience, they wanted to understand quality, and there was a gap, there was a real want, and Haludis was created to meet that gap. In September 13, halal meat was not available in supermarkets. Tesco had led the way by creating a world food section. However, that typically tended to be ambient products. Through consumer research and through the census of 2011, which demonstrated this significant rise of about 75% in the number of Muslims in the UK, it suddenly became apparent you could quantify this need and desire. But also you could see that there were millennials within there. They had different needs and wants. And from other survey data, we know 83% of this, this customer group shop in supermarkets for other products, whether it's shopping powder, whether it's pasta, whatever. But they weren't buying halal meat. So this was an opportunity. So supermarkets started looking into the provision of halal meat at a wholesale level. And this started with a number of stores with Tesco and then Sainsbury's with Asda and Morrison's coming on at a later date. What has been demonstrated from the data that we've gathered through Kantar World Panel is that that segment, this niche category, in a three-year period has grown over 100% year on year. Spectacular growth when you consider the overall growth of the retail grocery market in general. And driven by the fact that millennial, millennial consumers want convenience. There are issues. Consumers don't always trust supermarkets to provide halal meat. Consumers don't necessarily, necessarily know that halal meat is available and where it's available, even within a supermarket in a given era. Not all supermarkets will supply halal meat off at any, any given retailer. So this has been a learning process, both for the consumer and for the retailers as well. But nonetheless, captures a, a very strong thread sentiment that supermarkets can provide convenience and trust and quality, and consumers can, can give their custom to them if the supermarket provides the correct proposition. It's growing. It's set to grow even further. The UK halal population, sorry, the UK Muslim population is about 5% generally, 12% in London. That's set to grow to about 8% by 2030 and will probably plateau about 10% of the UK population. So it really is a category that deserves some attention. And for retailers that haven't taken it on yet, and there are a large number of them that have no halal offering whatsoever, this is something they need to think about unless otherwise they'll be far too late in the game. So the vision of Haludis is not just to supply halal products to Muslim consumers, it's actually to create a brand new category. Ethical consumerism is on the rise, and we see that with the growth of organic, free from as well. People are interested in what these and the benefits it provides. Haludis wants to occupy that space as well, to say, yes, it's an obligation for Muslims, that's unquestionable, but actually there are a large number of consumers who may actively want to choose halal once they understand the virtues and the benefits of halal. So Haludis wants to be a mainstream halal brand, and we currently are available in Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Costco, Ocado, Amazon Fresh, we're gradually getting there. We are in more mainstream outlets than any halal brand has ever achieved. And this is the first step to being able to say, well, actually, it's not just for Muslims, it's for everybody that values the virtues of halal. And Haludis as a brand helps to extend into other countries around the world as well. We have a true ambition to create a global halal brand. The halal food market is worth approximately $1.6 trillion globally. It is colossal. However, as yet, there isn't one halal brand that exists anywhere. Nestle is the largest halal food producer on the planet, and they're not known to be a halal brand. So there is a space for a halal brand which Haludis hopes, to, Haludis hopes to occupy, and we hope to launch in the Middle East in the next few months as well. A significant challenge that we face is to help retailers and food service operators understand why they should be in halal and even getting access to them. Events like Food Matters Live are crucial because it's a common meeting place for lots of people within the industry who have significant power to be able to attract new customers. For the major outlets that have already encompassed and embraced halal, they've seen significant growth. And this is something that is of benefit to food operators 
and also to the halal consumer. There's a strong synergy and a strong vein of business to be, to be taken here. Food Matters Live and the Halal Pavilion here offers a first step in being able to provide that interface between a lot of operators who may have an interest, or at the very least to get a better understanding of halal and the opportunities it has, and for us as a group of halal businesses to be able to bring our offering forward. Mm-hmm.